Hey guys, welcome aboard with Falling Missiles and Weird Behaviors, and this seemed like a week of bad missiles in DCS World. Well, there is a patch on September 30th that was just released by ED, and this apparently has corrected the behavior of the AIM-120s. Now, the AIM-120s did get upgraded, and you can see just how well that missile was trying to get Aaron RS here as he finally notched the missile, but with the good comes the bad. And the update on the 21st of September added a very weird behavior. Whereas if you launch a missile and it loses track, it would go vertical. Now this would happen on a missile that did not have a chance to go pit bull in 95% of the cases that I've seen. So if an airplane was guiding it to a target, it would tend to go vertical. Now this could be because of its internal guidance that was added to the AIM-120s and perhaps also to the Phoenixes but the missile would basically pull up and go into space rather than maintaining course and trying to go pit bull on a target. And once it lofts up way into space, it does this weird wobble dance with its stabilizers and eventually will run out of energy and tumble out of the sky. The awesome thing is ED and Heedler saw the posts about the AIM-54s and the AIM-120s and has gone out and got us a hot patch. They got out released on September 30th and we do have a fix in place. So we just have to see how they fly and what they do. The other weird thing that the missiles were doing is they would not self-destruct. Normally when a 120 or a ER would lose target, it would eventually self-destruct, but in this case, it did not self-destruct. The missiles actually would tumble out of the sky, spinning or just falling down or attempting to track something until they ran out of energy and actually hit the ground. Uh, I have not seen too many self-destructs and we'll see if that has been also corrected. So here's a side view, F-18 launching an M120 on me. This is from Zafid RS. His missile goes vertical, so it doesn't matter what platform you were launching them from, they were all doing the same thing. And here's mine, AIM-120 on Zafid from an F-16. I crank out, I might have lost lock there, or maybe Zafid broke lock, but uh, the missile seemed to be flying true until it could no longer go pitbull and then went into space. This seemed to be happening more on the longer little range launches, but uh, in most cases, if the missile failed to go pitbull or lost lock from the launching aircraft, it would do that weird behavior. So this is TACT-22, TMC versus Cobra. We've had more than one bad launch here. So here's a couple of launches that you saw right there where the TMC missiles just went up into space and then came back around. Here's another close-up view of that. You can actually see that synchronized launch. It was a beautiful launch and just like a couple of water, um, those girls that do the water twirling, those missiles are doing exactly that. Uh, if you know what that's called, water, dancing i don't know anyway back to airplanes uh the cobra missile that was tracking tmc though the red missile was tracking them very successfully another launch from tmc whoa the missile goes over the top okay so is there any good launches they, there definitely were because uh, cobra did pull through a victory and tmc did have a few hits actually quite a few hits it was a pretty tight match there i recommend watching the no wheels stream here's a successful tmc launch aim 120 long range launch this one is behaving and it's looking right for that Cobra pilot and smacks him right in the face. Now the Cobra pilot fired his own AIM-120 and I think his RWR goes off right here and he defends and his missile goes off. And there's Kingston launching his AIM-54s which seem to get the same problem. I'm guessing it might have been something to do with the INS on the missiles. Uh, I don't know the actual cause but that's what I'm guessing. And uh, there's Sneaky launching his missile that goes nowhere, and uh, TMC Kingston's Phoenix also went nowhere. So, the update on September 30th has now fixed the issue. I'll monitor to see what happens, and I can always count on those F-18s and their AIM-120s to always hit my ERs. Alright everybody, fly safe, and once again, big thanks to Eagle Dynamics, DCS World Community, and Heat Blur, Big Nui, and Iron Mike for getting on top of this and fixing this up for us. Thanks a lot, guys.